Hi, and welcome to the Jarvis Historic Site in Mineral Point. My name is Bethany Brander, Southwest Sites Programs Manager, and we're so happy you could join us here at Pendarvis at the end of Pride Month. The buildings that make up Pendarvis Historic Site today were preserved from 1935 to 1970 by business and life partners Edgar Hellum and Bob Neal. So how did this site transform from a small Cornish mining community into a dining destination? Come on inside and see. Bob Neal and Edgar Hellum met in 1934 in Mineral Point during the Great Depression. While connecting through their interests in preservation of old buildings, Bob and Edgar fell in love and decided to save at least one historic stone building in town together. They bought the home they named Pendarvis for $10. So how did Bob and Edgar get into the restaurant business and how did they save this building and several others that came after? Bob's grandmother was a Cornish immigrant to Mineral Point in the mid 1800s. Bob took her traditional Cornish recipes, and in the fall of 1935, Bob and Edgar started serving a traditional Cornish tea. Eventually, they turned it into a full Cornish meal. The menu changed over the years, but one thing that was always a staple was the Cornish pasty. Similar to a pie or calzone, pasties are moon-shaped pies filled with meat and vegetables in a crust and crimped on one end. This food was popular with Cornish miners because it was a hearty meal that could be filled with whatever one had on hand and easily transported into the mines. When wrapped up in a cloth or put in a lunch tin, the pasty could retain some warmth until lunchtime. The Pendarvis House pasties were actually big enough to feed four people. Bob insisted that they were best when served right out of the oven. Because these pasties took several hours to cook due to their size, reservations were required to eat at the restaurant. The Cornish pasty dinner also included a green salad, pickled beets, a beverage, old-fashioned mints, and a traditional Cornish dessert. Most importantly, you don't want to forget the Pendarvis House chili sauce to eat with your pasty. Pride Month is an important time to share the stories of two gay men whose preservation work was ahead of their time. Not only did their restorations and restaurants save an important part of Wisconsin history, but Pendarvis was one of the first places listed on the National Register of Historic Places in Wisconsin. We want to thank you for joining us at Pendarvis today, and we hope to see you soon.